what's going on everyone I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add debit slash credit cards to passbook uh, to be used with the new uh, newly released Apple pay service and yeah uh, let's go ahead and get started so uh, if you go into settings here and scroll let me scroll uh, I don't want to show my email okay uh, if we scroll down uh, just above uh, just under the iTunes and App Store section uh, there is a new passbook and Apple pay section so if you click on that uh, you get this menu here where you can add a credit and or debit card and then once you add your cards it'll be um, give you a list of them where you can edit and remove them from the service and then you can set your transaction defaults. So you can put a default card, default billing address, shipping address, uh, email, and phone number. So it's pretty cool that you can do that. So uh, once you've added your debit slash credit cards uh, to um, the Apple Pay settings in the settings application, uh, they will then be added to Passbook, um, as you can see here. Um, currently, I have a debit and a credit card uh, linked with the Apple Pay. And, of course, I have this little section here covered because I don't want uh, the numbers to be shown. But, yeah, once you've added the cards uh, via the settings application, um, they will all show up within the Passbook application. And they'll be kind of overlapping each other. You can tap on one of them to open it up and, uh, to get more information or to edit it, uh, edit the info. Um, so there's two ways of paying using Apple Pay. Um, you can either do in-store or in-app purchases. So if you do an in-store purchase, um, and you happen to have an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, um, that is another thing, by the way. The Apple Pay service, as it stands currently, uh, will only work on iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So keep that in mind. But... Yeah, if you do choose to do an in-store purchase, uh, you can do it via the lock screen uh, without turning on your phone, or you can jump into the Passbook application directly and tap on whichever card you want to use and then uh, put your phone uh, over top one of the payment terminals. And uh, the phone will use the NFC capabilities uh, to recognize the connect uh, connection and then all you have to do is put your thumb on the fingerprint sensor or touch ID sensor and it will authorize the purchase and you will be good to go. In all, uh, it took me, I'd say, about legitimately only about five seconds uh, for the purchase to be completed. So it's a really, really fast and efficient way of paying for stuff uh, in store. Um, it's just one touch and you're, de you're good to go. So it's really nice. So, like I said, you can use it on the lock screen with your phone being locked. And uh, and you can also <coughs> manually select which card you want uh, via Passbook. Now, uh, you can also use Apple Pay and your uh, desired cards via an in-app purchase as well. So, for example, uh, Panera Bread, uh, the Panera Bread application supports Apple Pay now. And... Essentially, when you want to order food off of that application, uh, all you'd have to do is select what you want to purchase, put it into your uh, checkout cart, and then at the very, very bottom of the page, it will give you a purchase with Apple Pay option. So let me go ahead and see if I can give you guys a quick demonstration of that. Uh, let's see here. Make sure I don't have any personal information that will show up on screen. Okay. All right. So, I can take this off. So, anyway, so if you want to go, it, currently I already have something in the cart. So, if I go to checkout, as you can see here, it will have all my information uh, of my current order or what I want to purchase. And as you can see at the very, very bottom here, it says buy with Apple Pay. Now, I'm not going to click on it because it will show my email and card information, which I, of course, do not want to show in the video. 
But all you have to do is tap on this black button down here. It'll bring up a window. You put your finger on the Touch ID sensor and you, you have immediately paid for your order. So it is that simple. It's just as fast as an in-store purchase. Uh, just you're doing it online rather than an in-store. So um, Apple Pay so far for me has been an incredible convenience. Uh, it's so simple, so easy to use. And I think over time, um, more and more pe uh, when more and more people use it, uh, there'll be much more retailers uh, using it as well. And so, yeah, really, really nice service so far. Um, now, there are some retailers that don't support Apple Pay currently. And just a few to name would be Walmart, Target, Vons, GameStop, and several others. But um, there will be more added uh, in the coming weeks. So uh, keep a lookout for that. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, it helps out my channel quite a lot. And also hit that like button as well. That's much appreciated. And again, also if you guys have any comments or questions about Apple Pay or just have any general comments, leave those in the section below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.